Hello. Hi. How do, how do I? <laughs> I know my last month's video wasn't necessarily a favourite video. It was kind of like a celebratory video of the fact I've been doing YouTube for a year now and I just kind of shared with you my favourite videos that I've done, things that I filmed, all that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that and you haven't seen it, have a little watch back. Um, but yeah, we're, we're already in, in October now. So September is already gone. It makes me very sad. I'm not okay. I'm not okay with the fact the weather is changing. My least favourite thing. Something that I've really, really liked this month has been, right, I'll show you this, because this is the box that it came in. I ordered this from Amazon. I was looking for some wireless headphones to go running with because little things irritate me. So yeah, if I'm trying to concentrate on running, I don't want anything to, like stop me from being able to just concentrate on running. So it's difficult already. I just don't want something to be irritating me. Um, so when I have my normal headphones in with the wire, it just kind of like, I don't know, it just bothers me. Like if it's irritating my neck or something and once I start thinking about it, I can't stop thinking about it. Is that a bit weird? I don't know, is anybody else like that? But anyway, I looked for some wireless he headphones and the only things I could find were those ones, oh, where, you, yeah, there was a lot of them where the earphone bud is the one where you stick into your ears and I hate those, I can't deal with them. My other headphones would just kind of like sit in my ear but had like a little leap around the side over the top of your ears to keep them in place but they didn't have to be plugged into your ears, I really can't deal with that. So when I spotted these, they're not going to be in here now, yeah they are, they're not very heavy so it felt like they weren't in here. When I spotted these on Amazon, I thought these would be perfect because they are wireless, but also they're like mini little, like actual headphones. So it's not even a bud that goes into your ear at all or sits on your ear. It's literally just sits over your ear. Um, shall we put them on? I'll put them on to show you. Uh, I can't do it with my hair down. Something like this. So yeah, they just, yeah, without the hair in the way, they just sit on your ear like that. Um, but like, you might think, oh, but they might not be too noise cancelling. But to be honest, I don't want them to be because if I'm out running, I also want to know what's going on around me. Um, I want to make sure that I can, yeah, also hear the real world and not just what's coming out of my headphones. So these are perfect. And they came in a little, um, little pouch like that as well which is very handy to just kind of like keep them secure and they just kind of fold up neatly into there. I've only charged them the first time as soon as I got them and I've not even charged them since and they are still working and I've used them quite a bit to be honest. I kind of go out for runs for about half an hour at a time and I must have done about five runs at least with them. So I don't know how long they're supposed to last, but yeah, they just come with a little wire inside there um, that you charge them with. The sound's good on them, they're really comfortable fit, they haven't like fallen off while I've been running or anything. I think it's got a really secure fit. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. They're called Link Wits Marathon 2 and I will link them down below for you to check out. Um, the second thing I have been using a lot of this month, another kind of technical product here, is this little thing here called a Java. And it's basically um, a speaker thing for your car. So it hooks onto the your mirror. Does it have a proper name? Just your mirror. Your visor. Your yeah. You. It's not a. That's not its main use, is it? A mirror. It's a visor to like, you know, keep the sun out your face. But yeah, I've just called it a mirror. But anyway, so your visor. It hooks onto that, or wherever you want to put it in your car. But that's kind of like the best place for it, and. I mainly, well, Jim bought it for me for my birthday or for Christmas, I can't remember. The thing I used it mostly for at first was having phone calls with him while I'm driving. So if I'm on my way home from work and I just want to give him a quick call, um, have a quick chat, see whether we need anything from the shop, things like that, but also want to get going on the motorway home, um, I can talk to him via this, link up my phone, set it to call, and I can chat to him through this. Um, while I'm driving. I don't really play music through it. I just listen to my CDs in the car really and yeah it doesn't, unfortunately my car doesn't have 
a Bluetooth thing or a USB thing to actually be able to stick my own things playing through it from my phone or something, but I don't really bother with that anyway. So the options there now I've got this, which is handy because I could just link it up via Bluetooth. Um, but I don't bother with that. But what I have been using it for this month is, yeah, because I got it literally like a good few months ago. Well, as I say, it might have been my birthday, February, but it may have been Christmas. I think it was my birthday. Anyway, so yeah, I've had this for ages, but I haven't really started using it much until now. So the main thing I've been using it for is listening to books. So I've gotten really, really into listening to books at the moment um, on Audible. I think I mentioned Audible as a favourite thing a couple of months ago. And yeah, for kind of listening to podcast things that I downloaded on there. Um, I did listen to one book, I think, a Matt Haig book. And then I listened to a lot of like the, the free podcast downloads you can use on Audible, you can download on Audible. Um, I had like Ricky Gervais's um, and Carl Pilkinson's show, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, but I've kind of, I think I've got a little bit left to hear of one of those that I actually did buy after listening to the free one um, left. But then I started downloading books because I realised I had two credits to spend. Um, so I basically asked a friend for some recommendations because I literally didn't know where to start. After Matt Haig, I, and I'm reading like most of his books, I'm kind of a bit like clueless, like, well, which author do I turn to now? And I just, I find it really difficult to just, I don't know, where are you supposed to start? There's millions of books in the world. Which one are you supposed to pick up? You don't want to waste time trying to, you know, buying one and listening to one or reading one and it not being any good. So I'm just like stuck, yeah? <laughs> I just find it really difficult. So I asked a friend and she recommended a couple of books to me. Um, well, she recommended a few and I kind of picked out a couple to download. So the first one I have completed this month, I literally listened to it in 10 days and finished it. And that's, that's a miracle for me. It really is. Like, I didn't realise that I could get so into a book and listen to it that much. Um, I definitely wouldn't have had the time to, like, I'd never have found the time to sit down and read for that long and actually get that completed in 10 days. But listening to it was pretty easy, really, because I listened to it when I go out on my runs, and then I listened to it in my car through this. And yeah, so this is one of my favourites, but that leads on to the fact that the book that I've been listening to that I've completed this month is called Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. And that was written by, wait for it, Gail Honeyman. So this is the little blurb I'm going to write, I'm not going to write to you, I'm going to read to you just to kind of explain what the book is about. So, Eleanor Oliphant has learned how to survive, but not how to live. Eleanor Oliphant that's a mouthful, leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal deal for lunch every day and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Elna Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled life except sometimes everything. One simple act of kindness is about to shatter the walls Elna has built around herself. Now she must learn to navigate the world that everyone else seems to take for granted. While searching for the courage to face the dark corners, she's avoided all her life. How can I talk about it without giving any spoilers away? <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd just read you that just to give you a little idea in case I'm unable to kind of explain it at all without giving spoilers away. Um, so yeah, she, oh, she's such a good character. It's a really emotional book, but really funny at the same time. The characters in it are brilliant. Um, she's like the main character and then you've got um, another person without giving anything away, anything away um, who becomes like the second main character and they are both brilliantly written. Um, just the way her character develops, she's such a... At first you think, what's wrong with this woman? Is she autistic? Is there something... The way she's coming across, you can't quite figure out what it is about her that, I don't know, why she acts like she does, why she says the things she does, why she doesn't understand the world like everybody else does. Um, and then the story kind of unfolds and she explores things in her past and it all kind of comes out over the course of the entire book. Um, exactly why she's like she is. And she is kind of like learning about the world and I just love the way that it explores the normal world that we live in and the way that we act from a perspective of someone who doesn't understand that and just I don't know I can't explain yeah read it just read it it's really good so I'm very glad that my friend 
um, recommended that one. And then there's one that I'm in the middle of now, but I won't give that away because if it's a favourite, I'll include it in next month's favourites. The last thing that I want to talk about, it's a weird one. These have been my favourite things this month. <laughs> right, let me explain. I've always been, for most of my life, quite a plain kind of food person. I didn't like many things. I've only really recently, the past few years, started exploring different foods and liking many more flavours and things. I used to just like literally plain foods. Chicken and rice. No seasoning, nothing. But Jim has kind of introduced me to seasoning things. <laughs> and we basically season everything. Literally, we'll put on... We kind of, well, we kind of started it when we started making our own chips out of baked potatoes and sweet potatoes. And we'd put, like, for example, this is just a season all seasoning, which has paprika, black pepper, and celery seed in. Very random, didn't even know what it had in. So that's the thing. I would never have eaten things. I know this is just like seasoning. I literally would never have eaten things. But I didn't know what was in it. I needed to know exactly what was in it. I'm still a little bit like that sometimes, but like, yeah, I probably wouldn't have even eaten that because I'd be like, oh my God, what's in it? I don't like pepper. No, I'm not, not, not doing that. But, and then this one is just mixed herbs. Um, and there's no particular brand of seasoning or anything. We'll literally try anything. We've got a bunch in our cupboard. These are just an example. We bought this one yesterday um, called garlic salt and I used it on some chips yesterday. Yeah, so we started using them when we were making our own chips, but sometimes we'll have normal oven chips and we'll literally still put these seasoning on them just to just to give them a bit more flavour. I just absolutely love covering things with flavour now because I'm not boring anymore when it comes to food. I don't think so. Anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up here because it is dinner time soon and, and these the smell of these herbs is kind of making me hungry. <laughs> so let me just, one little double check just to check I have talked about everything. I haven't, I have one more thing. Wait, don't go anywhere. My last thing that is a favorite of mine is a cleaning product and it's Dettol, and I kind of forgot about this. I used it ages ago and then kind of like forgot it existed. All in one disinfectant spray. If you already follow me, subscribe to me, you will know I'm a little bit of a clean freak. So um, cleaning products, I'm a little bit obsessed with. My kind of cleaning product drawer in the kitchen, cupboard in the kitchen is kind of filling up and overflowing at the moment. I feel like I need some of the space in the house to store cleaning products. I'm that obsessed. Um, so this kills cold and flu viruses. Next time Jim has a cold, I think I might just spray this on him. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, hard and soft surfaces. What I do with this, because you don't even need to like wipe it, you know, you spray it on something, you don't really need to like give it a good wipe or scrub, you just literally spray and everywhere is disinfectant, disinfected. I can speak. I use it mainly for spraying on the bins. So not even just when I change the bins, like I do it, I think I do it like once a day. I'll spray this on the bin, bin lids, open and close, just to kind of like make sure all around the bin entrance where your hand goes is all nice and clean. Um, and I'll also spray it on the door handles. I think that's a brilliant tip just to it's one of those places that some people kind of like forget to clean and the door handles are things that you literally touch every single day. Um, especially like the bathroom door, things like that. I mean, hopefully people wash their hands before they leave the bathroom, but it's just still a bathroom, isn't it? You still just gotta be careful. So I like to spray this on every single door handle in my house. Don't forget the front doors, everything like that. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in whichever video I put up next. I don't know what it is. I've got about five videos already filmed and need to be edited, so I will get them up ASAP. Um, I promise. There you go. You have it recorded. I was going to say in writing, but you have it recorded. I'm just going to say bye. Goodbye. Please subscribe.